Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 30th of September and uh, this time I'm uh, covering British American Tobacco, BAT and this will be my, I think, third uh, coverage. I started covering it back here in January when the market was still in a very hard decline um, and my analysis on, in my January Chart of the Week pointed to this area here being very likely a major low. Uh, I've marked it as a major fifth wave ending. Uh, it, it actually hit on, on my lovely tram line here. And sure enough, right after posting, uh, we have a massive uh, recovery. And it rallied right up to my upper tram line, which was my first target. And it's been backing off since then. Uh, in the May coverage, I believe that this uh, point was my purple wave 2 after this purple wave 1. Um, but um, as typically happens in real time, uh, you have to get uh, labels readjusted. And this is certainly the case here um, because it's basically the shares have done virtually nothing in terms of trend, but they have traced out a very beautiful five wave wedge. Wave 1 here, Wave 2, Wave 3, Wave 4, and last Wednesday it made a £28 a share low here in this Wave 5, which I'm now labelling labeling my Wave 2. So if this labelling is correct, we should see a pretty sharp move up here in a third wave. Now, if you are following the tobacco industry, you will know that it's had some knocks uh, in recent uh, weeks. We've had the vaping health scare, and one of the major U.S. Uh, uh, tobacco companies, or two of them, were uh, in merger talks, but that fell through. So, uh, sentiment has been pretty negative in the tobacco sector, but that is a very good backdrop, um, as you know, for a surprise rally. Um, let me show you the uh, chart of Imperial brands for comparison. Here's the uh, weekly chart of Imperial. Uh, this is wave 3 up here back in uh, 2008, uh, 4, 5, and this uh, 5 wave contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 waves, which is a perfect match. This was the high here. Uh, back in uh, 2017, I think it was. And from that point, we've had some uh, pretty sharp moves down. Here's wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, wave 5. I'm going to call that my A wave. And I think that will lead to a rally in, uh, in wave B uh, up to the £30 area. And then I think we'll see a collapse in wave C. But in any case, the, in the immediate picture, it looks quite bullish because we've got a big momentum divergence here. We've had a new low here last week, uh, which was not matched by BAT. So there's a divergence there, and I think uh, this portends um, a rally in both shares. And so here is uh, another tobacco giant, Philip Morris, the U.S. giant. Uh, we've got some lovely features here in this chart. This is the weekly chart. This is the lovely wedge, which broke out, and uh, the thrust out of a wedge normally gets reversed and in fact it did from the all-time high here and once again we have a lovely one two three four five wave move down to the low here i'm calling this my wave one and it's rallied up very sharply up to this wave four area which is a typical turning point so that's my wave a an abc down to my wave b and we are down here now, and I think it's going to be rallying quite sharply up here into uh, the C wave of two. And that looks like around the $100 area. Uh, and from that point, I think it'll collapse. We've got another momentum divergence here. So it all looks pretty healthy for a rally phase, which is surprise <laughs> to the market in, uh, in tobacco shares.